Okay, we're going to um, do a little review on IEC connectors. Now, it's quite a boring subject, isn't it, really? IEC connectors, they're not uh, the most enthralling piece of equipment, so have the most features. So, um, what all, what's all the fuss about? Well, basically, you can buy these cheap connectors from eBay or cheap suppliers and they're basically rubbish they're horrible plastic terrible bits of plastic and they, they split all the way down this seam here so this piece isn't all one piece and if you can see there's like so much play in the in the actual pins they're bending and out there's gaps in there so when you're pushing it in and out they waggle about you can see the the casing is really poor one thing I dislike as well about these cheap connectors is um, they have a screw here on the top and then they have like a uh, a bolt on the other side that when you unscrew this part if you notice this is a flatted screw you unscrew those the, the other part falls out and invariably goes on the floor everywhere and you have great difficulty trying to get the bloody thing so as you see that fell out there this comes off and then you're left with this which is the pins waggle about everywhere they are a design which means that you've got to put a cable round it or underneath it and hopefully try and trap it down with these screws and it, invariably they they fall out. So what a lot, a lot of people do is they solder onto them, and that's great if you can solder. But even then, you know, they, they're just terrible. The um, the cable grip is so small you can't put any cable of any value really down there. And again, when you undo those tiny screws that they have in there, those bits fall out, and it takes you about six hours to wire up one of those properly because they they just fiddly and faff about and they're rubbish also the, the 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 cable grip just doesn't do its job properly and for the cost of them you know you might as well just throw your money in the bin because they're rubbish really okay. so anyway during my time I've actually bought connectors like this which are the next step up if you notice you've got um, this is all one piece but inside there again that's been moulded together slightly but the, the back comes off with a a standard screw and that screw goes all the way through there to the bottom of the connector so the screw is about 15 miles long and is a, is a pain to get out until it's so why you know why they design these things with a screw that's that big is beyond me but here we go we'll get there in the end it's hard to do it while you're holding a camera and it does come off ah it eventually comes off then you're left with this and you've got some nice screws flat headed screws now the problem with these is I don't know if you can see, I'll try and focus in on there. They have a... Uh, metal piece here. Which goes in that is supposed to be pushed down on the cable. Now what happens with these is when you tighten this down, this metal flap, for better for <laughs> want of a better word, pushes your cable back out this way. So you're forever trying to hold the cable in and tighten it down. And it just seems a stupid slippy type of uh, device really. Um, and the cable grip, the cable size isn't that big. So I know these are only 10 amp connectors and I know you don't really need massive cable thickness. But if you're going to use something decent with... You know, it's, it can be tricky to put in, even in these. And they, these weren't cheap connectors, you know. These I got these from Flea Bay, and um, the the gland here, this part, 
that's not a bad design these are what I've been using and up till I saw these connectors from uh, Paul Coma from Pro IEC um, I thought these were the best really and it's refreshing to see that there are different connectors out there that are better here we go here's a connector and you can straight straight away see that the plastic that it's made from is actually really really good quality there's plastic in this plastic isn't there you know this it's nasty and this this is quality thick stuff one thing I do like about this is petty little thing but it has the screws that can take a slot or a Phillips not posi drive or whatever they call it nowadays anyway you undo this screw he says we're doing it with one hand while it's rotating on this lovely pink um, towel and that screw doesn't go all the way through it's a simple easy one and if you notice there there is a proper look me focus C mark on the back of it and in here there's actually a quite good bit of depth here for for cable and the connectors the screws again they're all the type that can take a flat or they can take a uh, Phillips and there's no flappy horrible bit of metal that tends to push your cable back out this way the cable grip is refreshingly bigger and again the same sort of screws and the gland width is better so you can put more uh, solid cables through there I just think this is a, a completely different product to the one that we saw in the first place which is like a collection of bits <laughs> which um, they're just a nightmare and then you get something like this which is a couple of quid extra and considering you know we're plugging these things in on a regular we're mobile DJs we're going to be using these quite a bit plugging them in and out testing them they're going to get some use they're going to get battered a bit and they're going to get uh, thrown about it's worthwhile for your peace of mind buying a decent connector getting a decent one now I believe Paul makes up leads to your specification if you're not handy if you don't can't use a screwdriver and a bit worried about mains electricity and so on um, Paul's a trained pat tester so he'll wire these things up make sure that they're all safe and exactly how you want so if you want lengths that are you know these connectors from a couple of meters or a specific length he can do that for you and he'll use quality cable as well I'm pleased to say that the the other the opposite to that the female is uh, equally as well made good plastic similar design inside um, and they just marry up brilliantly you know they they make a really good solid connection um, and I would definitely recommend these connectors because they're certainly infinitely better than those and they're better than the ones I've been using which are I thought actually quite good connectors until you see that something is better on the market which is these so that's it that's my review of um, the connectors from Pro IEC I do recommend them I think they're great connectors and they're well worth the money thank you